Alright guys, what is up? And today I'm bringing you a Moab gameplay on the map mission. And today I'm going to show you an easy way to get the Moab on this map. Now, first things first, a mistake that I made right off the start was not putting Scavenger Pro as my first perk. I had sleight of hand. I recommend putting Scavenger Pro so you have uh, the maximum amount of ammo you can start off with. That way you don't need to move around from your spot a lot. And yes, you guys can probably guess by me saying that is that this is a really slow paced Moab and pretty campy if I must say so myself. But you know, at the end of the day I still gotta come out and say that uh, I'm the one that's dropping the Moab and you're the one that's getting raped in your spawn. But anyways, um, some things that I would like to say right from the start would be that I recommend you guys use um, a long range weapon such as an assault rifle or a light machine gun. I wouldn't really recommend a sniper rifle for the fact that people can just come over this little hill right here and uh, you know snipers not really the best thing because they might be running at you pretty quick and you might have to try and quick scope them which you know doesn't always work and I'm not the greatest sniper so I like to stick to assault rifles or LMGs um, personally myself I like the assault rifles such as the ACR, the Type 95, the M16 and uh, the SCAR L or H I believe it's a SCAR L yeah those are the guns I'd recommend is sticking to uh, other weapons that I've also tried it with is actually the mp7 but you know it's good because it has no recoil and it's got pretty good range but the fact that it's still an SMG it doesn't keep up with the assault rifles damage over range another thing that I'd like to recommend too is that when you're sitting at this spot you can see the wall right in front of me right in behind this like little uh, like where my gun barrels hanging over the wall as you move left to right uh, the height will increase and decrease so it's very good so if someone knows that you've been sitting here for a while like myself that you can move left and right to uh, change where you are and you still have a perfect uh, head glitch on this spot it is extremely hard to get someone out of this spot and uh, you know you can barely see their head from the other side um, it's almost like I wouldn't say impossible to uh, just run up and shoot them because you know your head still sticks out like a couple inches but if you're ADSing at them um, unless they like have like juiced on that I don't think they'll uh, get you by the element of surprise because you still have a fair uh, a fair good 10 feet or so before um, you know they can even get close to shooting you by the time you're already ADS but a lot of ways people will try and get you out of this spot would be spamming flashes stun C4s or grenades um, if you have specialist on like I said this is an easy way to get a Moab um, I will get into the fact that you can use assault or support you know it, it's really just up to you I recommend specialist because it, you become like a one-man army like a like a machine pretty much and it's extremely hard to kill someone that's on the specialist bonus which you of course you're gonna have when you're going for your Moab but um, like I was saying the fact that people try and um, spam their stuns flashes grenades and c4s at you to try and get you out of the spot Blast shield pro is really helpful It's not as good as flak jacket from black ops But you know it's still um, a pretty good perk and it will help you out if uh, you know the constant stuns and flashes Which you know I was lucky enough not to run in this game and most people don't actually even think to throw a single grenade or flash um, When they're actually in that trap and now you can see right here is where I made my mistake right off the start of the game like I said is that I didn't have scavenger pro so I ran out of ammo pretty fast which uh, like I said um, of course it's easy to go and get um, some scavenger packs but I don't like to move from that spot and that sounds like the biggest bitch thing to say but you know it's true why move from a spot where the kills are just cons uh, sorry, constantly coming back to me you know they're continuously just running back to that spot and I'm just picking them off with my ACR that's why I recommend having like a, a single wielded machine pistol such as the MP9 in my personal opinion is the best or you could even rock an overkill and have a second uh, primary weapon because just in case you run out of ammo sometimes it's really risky to run up to that little hill to pick up a scavenger pack which you know sometimes you gotta take risks but I'd recommend uh, you know just staying where I am and now back to the point where I said that uh, people are gonna try and get you from this point how to counter it a lot of people will go down that alley that I'm ADS'd at right now, um, just a bit to my left where you see that right there where I just killed that guy, exactly what just happened right there. A sniper will try and hide behind that little fridge or just a guy and he'll try and head glitch you out. But what's awesome about that is that pretty much his whole entire waist up will still show, it, even if he hides behind there, which you know it's only about an inch or two of my head that shows right here. Another thing is that 
If you have Marksman on, which I definitely recommend, especially since you're going to have your specialist bonus if you're going for the Moab, is that um, their red names are still going to show up. And uh, even if they don't, you can still see them run across the screen with a short little glance, even by the time they try and get cover behind that fridge. You know, you probably get a couple shots or even kill them. It's really not that hard. You have, There's really no way to counter this unless they run up this hill that I've been trying to cut them off for the whole time, and they run to beat them, and they go right above me where that little cliff is, right above me, you know, where you can look down on the spot where a lot of people like to go. But, um, you know, if you have a strong team that's at B, which I recommend running with a strong team at all times, but you have to make sure that they're not above you and getting the B domination point um, so they can't just look down on you, which you guys can see I got my Moab, which I didn't really move from my spot at all unless I was getting the scavenger pack. And, um, you know, say what you want. It, at the end of the day, like I said, I know a lot of people don't like that play style, and it's really not the most entertaining to watch. But I am here to uh, give you guys some helpful tips, and I find that I get Moabs so easily when I do that. And uh, I've gotten about two or three Moabs sitting at that spot, but I don't normally run Specialist on uh, Mission. I hardly ever run Specialist on Mission. I actually mostly stick to uh, Assault, which like I said, um, that's, this spot works for more than just Specialist. It really does. Um, you can use Assault or Support, but I recommend having Scavenger or, you know, a weapon with a lot of ammo so you don't have to keep running back to that spot because sometimes they'll just ADS at that hill if they're, you know, playing like even bigger bitches than I am and they'll just wait for you to turn that corner, which, you know, there's really no need to push into that spawn or else you'll end up flipping it to C anyways. But, you know, this doesn't work in every game mode, by the way, guys, in case you guys are wondering, like, Oh, I'm playing search and destroy and I can't get my Moab right there. I'm playing team deathmatch and they keep spawn flipping behind me because uh, you have to be playing a game mode like demo it, this works in and it also works in domination. I'm not too sure on kill confirmed. I'm pretty sure the spawns will flip by the time uh, you sit there for too long. But it works for dom and demo as long as you don't push the spawns too much because uh, even demo they added uh, spawn flipping a little bit to it like some alternate spawns. But... You know, for the most part, that spot is extremely powerful. Probably one of the most powerful head glitches in any of the Call of Duties, in my personal opinion. Um, a lot of the time when I'm not running Specialist, I like to use my Assault Streaks and get some high ones. But anyways, guys, I hopefully this will help you in the long run. Final score, 32-2. and two. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.